Guys, today we are headed to beautiful Tampa Bay, and uh, the one holdup is it's stormy outside. There's a giant cold front I'm like about to go through, and there are bands of freaking rain that are dumping on us. So I don't know how much we're gonna be able to run the cameras, but basically what we're doing is we're hooking up with a good friend of Gambler and Hook Up Lures, which is Captain Wes Wildman. He's out of uh, Tampa, down in the Bradenton area. And we are going to go sling some hookup jigs and some gambler lures and some live bait. I don't know what he's got, if it's um, if it's greenbacks or shrimp or what. But we're going to sling him at some reds. He said the bite's been pretty good. And we're right on the brink of a front, so it could be absolutely killer. Because I think saltwater fish bite better when the friggin' fronts are going through too. So it'll be a cool deal. Hooking up with Kevin West Wildman. Doing some red fishing. Maybe some trout mixed in. Maybe some snook as well. But uh, just got to dodge the rain because it's going to be drippy outside. But here we go. So we're out here with Captain West Wild and we are about to grab some bait. Yeah, we're gonna get some bait real quick. Hopefully we can get on some nice white bait and a few pins and go start our day, man. So I'm just gonna watch because I'm not very experienced, but basically getting up on this flat, he's gonna drop an anchor and we're gonna throw those cast nets out and then we're gonna get to do some uh, real fishing. Hopefully beat the rain. said it's kind of crappy for the bait there's a lot of small stuff and if worse comes to worse we're just going to go out and we're going to throw some artificials some flapping sheds some easies and that and uh just see what kind of luck we have and i got a little something to admit too i've never actually caught a redfish so this is going to be really interesting and, and this guy has guaranteed me that at least i'm going to get a shot out That's snook, dude. <laughs> oh, there's another one in there, dude. No, I mean, same size. Dude, you might want to fuck Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell me about these docks. How, like, you're fishing them, you're looking for oyster bars. Like, what's your general approach with them? So, I mean, given our conditions today, I figure we'll just go structure fishing until like, you know, the water comes up. Okay. But literally, I mean, there's oyster beds in, in between these docks, you know, and obviously the, the pilings and stuff make a lot of structure, but the redfish and snook are starting to relate to this stuff this time of year. You know, okay. they're going to start pushing into the residential canals and the docks and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's why I figure we'll come in here and try it and see, yeah. see what happens. So, but obviously, I mean, that was a test right there. We just got big good. So. Yeah, jump. And tell me, you can see kind of like there's an oyster bar right there. And basically, I know nothing. So you tell me just cast around it, take that hookup jig and just fire it in there basically right. and just play well, with your, your retrieve. So your redfish eat are eating off the oyster beds. You know, okay. they're going to eat the oysters, going to eat like the little minnows and pinfish and stuff that are mm -hmm. around them. So, you know, this they're going to be stacked on oyster beds this time of year. Awesome. And that's why we're, that's why I figured we came in here. I mean, it looks, it looks yeah. cool. That's why we're here. Uh -huh. Let's do it. <laughs> Jellyfish. <laughs> he came up and watched him eat it, dude. <laughs> oh, that was freaking sweet. I'm staring at the jellyfish. He came up and ate it. Oh, dude. All right, now I'm ecstatic. This is this is the dumbest experience ever. Trout fishing. Trout. But let's make it work. Oh no! I got a baby. Oh, trout! Nice trout. Haha! <laughs> cool. Super sized trout. Like that would be a keeper for me today. Now, what do I? How do I grab this joker to be safe? Um, so 
so he's just slimy, dude. Like, he's got teeth in his mouth, so just kind of... Give him a hug? Yeah. Yeah, just give him a hug, just like that. <laughs> I caught a trout, a nerd caught a trout before. Just so throw him back? Got bit too. They yeah, throw him back, yeah? Unless you want to eat that. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> that was the coolest deal. I never caught a trout, neither. That's freaking awesome. Put a white on, dude. I'm freaking Jack now. I'm Jack. Thread it on. Push it on there, man. You want to get it straight, obviously. I probably jacked your head. Yeah, a little too short. You want it straight on there. Let me redo that for you, bud. He's a perfectionist. Yeah. There we go. That's going to look better. You want it nice and straight on there, just like that. Trout, redfish, and the snook. They're all going to eat it. All right, guys, so we are kind of, what are we, mid-morning or so? Yeah. yeah. So he said the bite's going to get better. I think it's freaking great already because we already caught some snook, or I should say lost some snook. I'm throwing the hookup jigs. The super stud seems to be key instead of going with that swim bait. We don't got any live bait except for a few pinfish, which we've tried to toss under a few docks. He had kind of a pull for a second, but we missed her. But basically, what, what's the plan now here? Um, we're going to run and fish a, uh, like a bar, like a sandbar. Okay. So we can't get on the snook and stuff like that over there. So same thing, jig fishing, that sort of stuff. <laughs> so we're gonna go do some more jig fishing and casting, right? Yeah, casting. Yes. Awesome. So this is freaking cool. I've caught two trout early this morning, first trout I ever caught, and this is freaking cool. And the weather sucks, but it could make for some really good fishing. So a lot of guys with this this hookup jig they think yeah it's like hook up you know like hook up with the fish but actually the whole reason they're called that you can see right here that head keeps the hook up so you can see right out here Wes put us on this muscle bar right here and basically it comes down into the water the tides kind of high right or I'm sorry it's low and it's coming up and starting to flood that but you can fish those things because the hook stays up even though it's an open hook and you don't have to use like a snagless or a weedless hook and you can ride right over that stuff and those hard spots really draw those fish but hook up is yes it's hook up and catch some fish but it's really like literally like hook runs up and that's what's the trick with fishing some of this kind of harder structure go by boat i know he just forget but right on the fall like i just threw it out there and then the joker was there no um yeah i guess whoa whoa Blue or I guess it's a, a jack. Oh, we're all, we're all fish, <laughs> not, uh, hey, dude, fish, dude, whatever, bro. 
That's freaking nuts. I mean, hammered it, dude, like. Business name is Wildman Adventures. Um, I do inshore and nearshore charters, so snook, redfish, trout. Anna Maria Island is my main location. I go all the way down to Sar you know South Sarasota Bay, and I fish up in a, into uh, Tampa Bay a little bit as well. So, um, but Anna Maria Island, Wildman Adventures, and my Instagram is Captain underscore Wild. Nine four one three two two four one zero eight.